Now look at this. What's up, Penguins? We're gonna do the 2023 FRQ questions number three. Okay. All the questions are available on AP Central. So if you're wanting a little bit more information about the question, you can go check out the questions on AP Central. So we have this fish, and we know it's a keystone species, and so we are seeing how climate change is going to affect the maturation of the fish. So how the increased carbon dioxide levels and how the changing of temperature changes when it matures and whatnot. So in part A is talking about how increased biodiversity in ecosystems is going to allow for there to be resilience in a changing environment. And so if there is an increased biodiversity, that means I have a lot of different types of organisms. I got a lot of each of different ones. Um, and so if something was to happen and we lose one of the organisms within our trophic structure, that's not going to cause a collapse of the whole thing. Um, that's just going to cause, you know, there'll just be a little bit more food for one or the other or whatever. But for the most part, they're able to kind of bounce back from that because they have a lot of different primary producers. They have a lot of different, you know, primary consumers and so on and so forth. So they can come back when there's some type of issue like that. I talked way too long. Sorry, y'all. So we're supposed to justify the science is using five degrees Celsius as well as 400 micro atmospheres for the lowest carbon dioxide level um, in terms of the experiment. And so those are considered a control. Um, and so what they're going to do is that is the favorable condition that we have for the fish to mat mature at. That's where it normally matures. And so it's going to be a point of comparison so we can see how the increase in temperature as well as the increased carbon dioxide levels um, have on the maturation of those fish. Null hypothesis is stating that the treatment group had absolutely no effect. Um, and so you would see the same level between a control and one of your treatments. Um, and so I said that increase the temperature has no effect on the um, survival of the rate of the land sands embryos. Or I said the increase of carbon dioxide levels has no effect on the survival rate of the sand lance embryos. So science makes a claim that the reduction in the population size of this fish will affect the stability of the entire coastal ecosystem. Um, it tells us in the prompt that it's a keystone species. And so we know that if um, your keystone species decreases, we know that, that is going to cause the whole ecosystem to collapse um, because of the fact that it's a prey fish for some of the higher trophic organisms. And so, of course, they're not going to have food, which is going to decrease their population. So we're going to see a, a rapid decrease in all the trophic structures going up. And remember, if you have fans, just says, bye, y'all.